Why should your minibar, the in-room TV, and the AC talk to each other? Is the Internet of Things really relevant for hotels? And how does 5G work? That's what we're going to discuss today with Ian Miller. Hello and welcome to another Ask Your Hotel Techie video. If you're looking to get your hotel tech-related questions answered, you're in the right place. I'm Alicia from Hotel Spider, your hotel techie. And today we're going to talk to Ian Miller, a professor at the prestigious École Hôtelier du Lausanne, or EHL for short. Ian was my professor when I did my bachelor at the school, and he's going to sit down with me and share his insights into the 5G technology, the Internet of Things, and how it is and will affect your hotel property. Let's go inside and sit down with him for a chat. Good morning. So my name is Ian Miller. I'm a senior lecturer here at the Ecole Hôtelier de Lausanne. Been for the last 18 years. My specialization is hospitality technology um, and externally do a lot of industry stuff. Um, but the main one is I'm the vice chair of the advisory council for High Tech Conference. What is 5G technology? So 5G technology is um, the next version of mobile communications. So back in the days when we had our Nokia 3310s and we had our very first mobile phones, that was 1G, then we went into 2G, then the third generation, so the G standing for generation, uh, that started to allow data on phones. So that was when really when the smartphone started emerging. And then every generation just really either um, just becomes more stable, but also it really becomes uh, two things, one, faster, and then also what's called latency, so the delay between your mobile device. How does it compare to Wi-Fi or also 4G, the fourth generation? So really, if you've got any kind of device, whatever you have, your computer, your laptop, mobile phone, or any other additional device, I'm thinking you know, your, your credit card terminal in your hotel or your restaurant, all of these need to be connected somehow to the internet. The good in a way, the bad thing about Wi-Fi is Depending upon how your network has been set up, you may have a limited number of IP addresses, either the number of devices that can come onto your Wi-Fi. The other downside of Wi-Fi as well, uh, or the current version of it, is sometimes you just do not get Wi-Fi coverage. So that really depends on the number of access points you have. A classic example, you wanted, for whatever reason, a Wi-Fi connectivity in your walk-in fridge in your hotel. Very doubtful you'll have that because you're probably down below, in a lower level, thick refrigerated walls, uh, and the Wi-Fi signal won't make it in there. Uh, so Wi-Fi has always suffered, or the Achilles heel has been coverage of the signal itself. In collaboration with 5G coming out, there's also a new norm called Wi-Fi 6, uh, which, same thing, it promises better coverage, um, uh, so more distance, and also faster speeds. 5G has a bit of a hidden problem, um, is you need a lot more antennas and antennas closer to where you want to pick up the signal. Uh, so it's really a lot more sort of a close proximity tech is what we call it. Um, so that's a little bit the problem that the telecommunication companies have because they're not only having to, to upgrade the antennas, they're needing to put a lot more of them um, just because of the amount of connectivity it will take and also move them nearer um, to buildings. So at the moment, we're actually in a bit of an unknown of exactly what this would mean. What's the difference between a Wi-Fi access point and a 5G access point? You're in your hotel and you have your access point probably on the ceiling somewhere. So that is connected through your computer network in the hotel. So I'll run back to the server room or wherever you have your router, sorry, switches first, then routers, and then you go out into, into the internet through the hotel connectivity. Where 5G, if you take it in this classic form, is I may be in my hotel room and on my phone and I'm watching YouTube, for example, and I'm on 5G, I'm not going through the hotel's infrastructure. I'm going out through the window to the nearest mast and 5G antennas, a hotel also in 2020, 2025 will need a Wi-Fi solution. Where we currently stand, yes. Um, so it's not going to uh, go away anytime soon. I think if we, you know, we do want to 
advice as it were, um, what I would say is don't upgrade your Wi-Fi now. Wait until Wi-Fi 6 uh, becomes the norm. There's a great expression in tech, never be the first, never be the last. That will then be definitely future-proof for the next five years. Then in 2025, once we know a little bit more how 5G has truly been adopted, uh, not by mass consumers, but also in business, then we'll be better placed to make a decision. Why is the technology relevant globally? And then also maybe let's look at the hotel business. What is the relevance really for hotels of, of the technology 5G? So I think where 5G is is interesting is one, just like all, all computers, we're always evolving. You know, we think back to the, the laptops we had 10 years ago, you know, and you put them against what we have today and the same thing for mobile phones, um, you know, they are uncomparable. So technology always moving forward in terms of size, everything must be smaller, speed, everyone wants everything to work faster, um, weight of your devices, so it's just constant sort of refinement process and 5G is just the logical thing. 5G, however, in a way, if you look at purely from a spec angle, it's a bit of a shining, a knight in shining armor. I have a 5G antenna outside, you can hook up a thousand people. Uh, you have no problems of speed, download speed. Uh, you could ultimately say, well, there's a 5G connectivity, why even do Wi-Fi in a hotel? That is a question you could pose, not yet, but moving forward, that will, that will become questions we'll start asking. What can I, as an independent hotel, actually do to prepare to be ready for 5G? I think as an independent, the only thing you can really do is look who is your local uh, telecom provider and when that's going to roll out. You really have nothing much you can do about that because uh, you're reliant on them. Where I think that what we should be doing collectively um, as an industry, and the, this is the role of Hotelier Suisse or other hotel associations, I think we should be putting all our brain power together as hoteliers and really bring this up at discussion points. What is the benefit, not just for me as an independent hotel, but for our industry? Uh, you know, is there something that we could collectively together be doing to um, at least address these problems? But I think a little bit more collaborative general talk on this of, okay, what are the pain points? And then engage with us as technology people, what can you do? Uh, what can we have as hoteliers to solve this and not just for my independent hotel, but the guy next door and the guy down the road and the three hotels in the village next door? I think that's, that's what, what we should be doing uh, because it's for the overall betterment of our industry. What exactly is the internet of things? So the Internet of Things is, in a way, been a, it's been a bit of a buzzword. You can Google it, what is the Internet of Things. Um, simply put, it's where you connect physical devices, whatever that may be, and you give them an, an, an IP address, an internet protocol. So you put them literally on your network. You know, the simplistic terms is you can, on your network, you'll probably have servers, laptops, tablets, maybe your credit card. All you're then doing is adding new physical devices. So it's really things that were physical, that didn't have an internet connectivity. Now, for whatever reason, and that we're gonna discuss, is you can, they now have a connection on the internet. What role does 5G or will 5G play in, in this connectivity of, let's say, all of your devices? Okay, so the, you could, take whatever device it is, and we'll just keep it agnostic for the moment, you could put it on your hotel Wi-Fi. Not a problem. Yeah, it, take an example, you may have a coffee machine in your guest room, and for whatever reason, don't know yet, you decide that you take one that you're gonna to connect to the internet. That's suddenly additional 100 IP addresses. Majority of uh, hotel Wi-Fi networks are gonna be limited on the number of things that can connect actually to that. Uh, where 5G steps in, he, 5G, an antenna will take probably between 1,000 and 5,000 connections. Um, so you don't have that problem of getting the device, what I mean, at least connected um, onto the internet. Can you give us some operational examples of how the internet of things can be used in hotels? Just imagine anything can be connected. I can put a miniature device, literally that big, 
inside my fridge and I hook it up to either the hotel Wi-Fi or 5G. What that device will start doing is very, very simple. Every, whatever you program, 10, 20, 30 seconds, he will say, I'm at four degrees. I'm at four degrees. I'm at four degrees. I'm at five degrees. I'm at seven degrees. And what you can have in real time, um, you could remote monitor uh, all your fridges. If we now take that into the real, you know, what's the bonus of this? One, HACCP, that we have to do this and we have to obviously then submit that um, if and when needed. It could be that I'm a hotel owner and I'm sat at home on a Sunday night and suddenly my main walk-in fridge sends me an alarm, hey, I'm running at 10 degrees. You might have three, four, 5,000 francs worth of merchandise in there, which if you didn't know that on the Sunday evening and you came in Monday morning, everything gone. I think hotel operations can really benefit from this. Um, so I'll take that more of a focus. If we're talking about guest, for example, guest comfort, I've actually been working with one company who are doing more of a, it's, it's maybe a hybrid. So it's actually, it's an uh, IoT device you put in a hotel room um, and you can see the air quality in real time in each of your rooms. If a guest suddenly smokes in your room, you'll get a real time alert because he'll pick up, the sensor will pick up the guest is smoking. It could also pick up things like humidity in the room. Uh, if your room's air conditioned, um, it can obviously ch do temperature. Uh, so you can suddenly see the quality of the environment in your room. Hang on, why is room 202, the humidity in that room's really, really heavy? On one day, okay, it doesn't matter, but if this is constant and your humidity in a room is above the others, it's going to start getting to your carpets, the wallpaper, the mattresses. Um, so being able to monitor the room on how it's behaving, um, I think that becomes interesting for hotel operators and also gives better guest comfort. If the guest comes in the room's damp and humid, that's not good for the guest either. Internet of things, but connected rat traps. So obviously it's something that as hotels we have to do. We sort of have that legal obligation of pest control. But if we look at the current situation, if, if you have a mouse, for example, who's gone into a trap, eaten the poison, died in there, you don't know that until somebody from your external company who you pay and they go around and inspect all the traps. What this company's done is uh, all the traps are connected and as soon as a rodent goes in, they receive an alert. If you take this in the form of a preventative maintenance, it's not <clears throat> coming in and then having to check every single trap. It's only if a trap says, I've had an interaction with a rodent, something's happened, please come and inspect. Super efficient. Electronic mini bar, if the door hasn't been opened during the guest day, you can take the assumption at 99.99% certainty, the guest hasn't opened that fridge, hasn't taken something, don't go and check it. It could be, for example, your air conditioning unit. If that was connected Internet of Things, it can literally send back um, to you in real time, or maybe once a day, on, on how it's doing. Uh, if you suddenly see an air conditioning unit is using double the energy that it should, the, what the software says, hey, you need to go and check your air conditioning unit, something is wrong. When should I as a hotelier start thinking about the internet of things or connected devices? Don't think about it now, just stop, okay? We're talking about it. I think this is not something you just want to rush into and go ahead and do it. That would be a bad thing. I think the point where this becomes relevant and needs to be discussion is either you're building a brand new hotel. Okay, already plan to get the infrastructure in that will allow for this. Uh, why you're building the thing. So before you close up the walls and your ceilings, ensure that you have the access points in. You've maybe spoken with the, your, whoever the local telecom provider is uh, and you know 5G is coming in but at least you plan for that. Then I'll say, okay, if I'm an existing property, uh, but I'm gonna go and do some kind of refurbishment, whether that be soft or hard refurb, that doesn't matter, but where you are going to be doing any physical renovation uh, to your property, there I'll say, okay, definitely infrastructure in, and at least then you've planned for that. Third one, I'm currently open, I'm operating, and I'm just ticking along nicely, hopefully, I wouldn't make this a major thing for you as yet. 
I think changing your hotel operations and you tweak certain things, that, yeah, start going ahead with that. The example of, you know, simply being able to monitor fridge temperature or freezer temperature or energy consumption. Um, these are things that actually wouldn't be that too difficult to implement. As a in smaller independent property, what are the things or what are the thoughts you would, you would need to have in the next, uh, today or in the next years? So I think one is find out from the local telecom providers, whoever that may be, of when it is planned that you will fall into the 5G upgrade. IoT, I think it's really to start looking, okay, what, what are we doing on a daily basis in our operations that could potentially, if we could connect something, ignore what it is, could this help us on our daily lives and actually save me two hours, one hour, three, whatever it may be, because you're really looking for sort of patterns and repeatedness of things. Um, and that's where I IoT can come in. That's it for my interview with Ian. Thank you very much for the interview, for your time and the interesting conversation. Here is my conclusion of this conversation with Ian. First, I think 5G as a technology is still a little bit overhyped and there isn't actually a real application for hotels today, but it's definitely something to watch and see where it goes. Second, there are a lot of Internet of Things application in maintenance and backend, which means third, that there are actually interesting things that small and also independent properties can do already today to optimize and simplify certain tasks in your property using the Internet of Things. And third, if you're refurbishing, if you're thinking about refurbishing, or if you're even building a new property, you definitely have to pay attention to this. Click that like button if you enjoyed this video, and I would really appreciate if you would share it with someone. If you're not subscribed yet, consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. I'm Alicia from Hotel Spider, your hotel techie. Stay tuned for the next video.